The walleye is found from Connecticut to North Carolina, westward to Wyoming and Montana, and north to the Hudson Bay. It has become an excellent game fish for the northern market. Walleye tournaments now compete with the freshwater bass tournaments. The opaque eyes of the fish have to be ignored when it comes to the walleye being fresh. Their eyes are an adaptation to dim light because it primarily is a nocturnal feeder. The best water temperature to fish for them is between 60 to 70 degrees. It can be caught with live bait and jigs with light tackle. The world record is 25 pounds. It can be prepared by any method. The shore lunch is its best known. The walleye fried has a snowy, white, finely flaked, sweetly flavored meat. Okay, the next fish we're going to clean is a walleye. To us people here in the south, these aren't very common at all. You'll see them up north though in this big old tournament range with them today. These walleye tournaments are probably as popular as your bass tournaments. If you notice this walleye has a colored eye and a lot of people go to a fish market and they'll say, well, we tell how fish, fresh the fish is by the color of the eye, whether it's clear or not. But a walleye is a nocturnal feeder and because of the illumination of the light, it has this kind of frosted eye. This is a very pretty fish. We had this one shipped to us fresh from Chicago and it really is nice. Now next thing we can do, we've already scaled this fish, we've already gutted this fish. Next thing we do is remove the head. We'll come up behind the fin, press down, turn it over, same thing again. Come back close against the front collarbone, remove the head. Okay, a little bit of scrape out. Same as the other fish, you want to hold down with your left hand. Take that knife, cut with the curved edge of the blade, keep your index finger on the guard, come back, cut up, hold it back, cut through the rib cage. Come back down on about a 45 degree angle, rubbing that knife blade right along the edge of the fish. This is one sweet fish, really good meat. You turn it around, press down, start at the bottom, come cut through on top of the dorsal fin all the way to the head. And as you notice, it just rolls up. You cut through with a nice, pretty fat piece of filet again. Just remember, you do it in this manner. You come up and over the vertebrae. That's the key to giving you a good, clean filet. Okay, now we're gonna take the other side off the backbone. Again, cut on the anal fin, lift up, separate. And we wanna come back, press down again with the left hand. This fish was gonna come from the back side. If you've noticed with these scales off of it, it's much easier to cut between the flesh and the top of the fish. Come back down on that vertebrae again. Always remember, up and over. Once we get to that point, we can just press down with our knife. Keep that backbone to put in your garden. Okay, now we're gonna take the rib bones out of this walleye. Same thing, turn it up. They're very similar to the texture of the pike, but you just come back the other side of it. They're very easy to remove, very easy. Just remember, always keep that index finger on that knife guard. Scrape back, draw your little line just enough to break the membrane to the bones, pull them back. Now at the top of this fish, There'll be a few more bones that run back into it like a trout. Just want to cut up in there on both sides and remove those. And that's all it is. We turn the fillet around using a long flexible blade knife again because it's so easy to control it. Hold the back part of the flesh and just come back and forth with a seesaw manner almost holding it flat to the flesh. And now we got it close again.
okay? 